I'm going to be ranking the best coaches right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we do have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier. And we have about 20 to 25 of the best coaches in my team right now. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below which coach are you guys currently running in my team. And let me know your guys' favorite coach in the game or just who you guys think is the best coach. And of course, let me know what you guys are changing about my tier list. So I haven't done one of these, you know, tier lists uh, this year in my team. Give you guys my ranking on all of the best coaches. So this should definitely be a little bit new of a video. But Nick Nurse, I think is going to be in that b tier category and if we're talking about coaches i feel like he's kind of in the middle he's going to be a balanced three coach which if you guys look at 2kdb you guys can see these can be his boost for a point guard a power forward and a center because i do believe point guards shooting guards and small forwards all primary all do get the same boost and then a power forward gets a little bit different of a boost a primary power forward and then a primary center does get a different boost as well so first off talking about the point guard he's going to give them a plus three shot close plus three mid range plus three three pointer plus three driving lane and a plus three perimeter and also a plus three ball handle so the ones you want to look out for here is going to be the ball handle the perimeter defense the three-pointer and i guess the mid-range so pretty nice giving him a plus three ball handle the plus three perimeter should be really good and then the three-point boost as well so on a point guard going to be pretty nice from nick nurse which is obviously a balanced coach he's going to give a power forward a plus three shot close plus three mid-range but he's not going to give them a plus three uh shot three which is a little bit annoying he's instead going to give them a plus three offensive rebound and then he's still going to give that plus plus three driving layup and that plus three perimeter so maybe not as good for a power forward with the balanced nick nurse coach and then for a center he's also not going to get that plus three three pointer he's going to get basically the same as the power forward so overall i'd say nick nurse probably somewhere in that beats here category talking about chris finch he's just going to be the exact same coach as nick nurse except he's plus two not plus three so i feel like he's probably got to be somewhere in my c tier category because you guys can see or whom, yeah billy donovan I, did i say chris finch i don't know why i said chris finch i think i said him but billy donovan it's just a plus two balance and he's going to give the exact same boost to the different players except it's only going to be a plus two instead of a plus three for nick nurse i feel like billy donovan going in c tier is definitely going to be a very a very fair spot i would say dennis rodman is most likely going to be in my a tier category if you guys don't know i'll probably be throwing my top five like top three to five coaches in s tier not exactly sure how many coaches i want to put in s but probably my top three to five and i think dennis rodman is just barely going to miss out of the top five he's a really really good defensive coach coach if we look at his boost on a point guard he's going to give him a plus five strength which is really good plus five perimeter plus five lateral quickness and a plus five block so really good defensive upgrades for a point guard you look at for a power forward with uh, dennis rodman he's also going to give them really good defensive stats pretty much the same plus five uh, strength but instead of perimeter uh, i clicked on the wrong instead of giving him a plus five perimeter he is going to give the power forward a plus five perimeter a uh, plus five perimeter and a plus five interior defense so just making these cards overall so much better of a defender and and then we look at uh, his boost to a center. You guys can see it's going to be about the same as a power forward. So very similar boost between a center and a power forward. And overall, I think Dennis Rodman for now, probably going to be in my A tier category alongside the Greg Popovich, who's just going to be a better Nick Nurse. He's got plus four compared to Nick Nurse's plus three. It's kind of surprising that they made Greg Popovich a plus four balance when usually Greg Popovich is defense. Uh, I can't exactly show you guys. I mean, basically him and Eric Spolstra are going to be the same coach, right? Plus four defense, the exact same boost as the dennis rodman except except that he's going to give plus four instead of plus five but i feel like they're st uh, still in the same tier oh no sorry that's defense i don't know what i'm talking about it's going to be basically a taylor jenkins which is the plus four balance that is what uh greg popovich is going to be and they're both going to be in my a tier category i think doc rivers is probably c tier i don't think the grid and grind is really that good like if we look at doc rivers and the boost he gives like plus three three pointers pretty cool i mean he does give three in defense which is nice for a point guard and then we do look at him on a power forward he's going to give not a plus three three pointer he gives like post moves you know rebounding like i don't think he's really that great of a coach i mean you could maybe throw him in that b tier category alongside a nick nurse but I think I probably would take Nick Nurse over him. So I'll put Nick Nurse in B tier and then Doc Rivers in the C tier spot. Don Nelson, 1000% going to be S tier. Probably easily the best coach in the game. Like if you look at his boost, first off, he gives a plus A boost to the stat upgrades. He's going to give them a plus A three ball, plus eight speed, plus A perimeter, plus A ball handle. Like that is crazy good to have on a point guard. And I think the best boost upgrade is actually for the center. When you look at a guy like Kristaps, he's going to get plus eight speed. So if we're talking about a Yao Ming type center, right? 
If we're looking at Yao Ming and we apply the Don Nelson coach boost, now you can see Yao Ming's going to have 88 speed, which is incredible. 99 in tier defense because of that plus eight. So for a center and just overall big man, I think it's going to be really nice to have Don Nelson. I think overall is easily the best coach in the game. I mean, just all around, I think he's the best coach for the point guards, the small forwards, the shooting guards, the power forwards, and the centers as well. So he will be our first S tier coach. I think Eric Spolstra has probably got to be an A tier. Once again, he's just a worse Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman gives plus five where Eric Spolstra does give plus four a lot of these coaches do have the same boost uh Chris Finch is actually a little bit different he's going to be seven seconds offense once again another sapphire coach so probably can't throw him much higher than C tier I do want to see what his boost actually give because seven seconds is a little bit different so plus two three pointer plus two mid range it's going to be similar I would say to the uh, balance coach I mean plus two ball handle and plus two speed is actually pretty nice to have so I think Chris Finch probably somewhere in that Honestly, I would say C tier category just because he's a Sapphire coach. If he was a Ruby, he would definitely be in that A tier category. Emo Doka, I mean, he's basically the same coach as Nick Nurse. They're both going to be plus three in balance, so they obviously got to go in the same category. Uh, JB Bickerstaff, I think probably C tier. I mean, a lot of these Sapphire coaches probably just got to go in the C tier category because they're only plus two compared to like the plus threes, the plus fours, and the plus sixes from Jerry West, who's obviously going to be a top five coach in the game. I think he's probably number two right behind Don nelson i mean if you thought don nelson stats upgrades were good i mean jerry west is pretty much the same he's gonna be perimeter centric so he's not gonna give that speed and i feel like that's the biggest difference of coaches this year and just pretty much every single year with coaches is speed is always the biggest upgrade because you know at this time of the year the point guards are all gonna have really good driving dunks really good ball handles really good three-pointers so it doesn't really matter too much and then it also if you look at jerry west on a center like for a card like Kristaps, it doesn't really matter too much the only card it's really gonna help for is a card like a yao ming a guy that only has what a 78 three ball and that's where a guy like jerry west is gonna be super beneficial giving yao ming now a plus uh six three pointer which now he has an 84 three but i still think overall jerry west is probably the uh probably a top five coach in the game i would say for sure uh kareem I don't know if Kareem's even higher than C tier because he's going to be what post centric and that's just not a good upgrade in my opinion like he does still give plus five three pointer wait is this the right one wait post centric why is he giving those boosts I thought it'd be post moves no hold on is that the right boost upgrade are we sure are we sure that's the right upgrades it might be I guess okay so I mean it's not that bad then so yeah Kareem's probably B tier I wouldn't say he's A tier I thought it was just gonna be all post stuff wait is that are, are we sure that's right is that the right upgrades I thought it'd be like all post moves and post hooks how is he post centric but it's only giving uh you know it's giving like three pointer mid-range perimeter but that's actually pretty good for a point guard giving the plus five steal and the plus five perimeter so i'll probably throw kareem in the b tier category maybe he honestly goes a i think he'll go a tier uh, i'm kind of deciding between a and b i'll probably go high actually i'll go low b tier i mean i'll go low a tier sorry he's a diamond coach uh steve kerr i feel like he's also probably got to be an a i just feel like there's going to be so many a tier coaches like steve kerr is basically just jerry west but he's gonna be plus four instead of the plus six jason kidd is going to be the exact same as a greg popovich so obviously these guys got to go on the same tier next coach is going to be lenny wilkins once again it's just another steve kerr like these four coaches right here like jason kidd greg popovich the exact same coach lenny wilkins steve kerr the exact same coach so they all got to go on the same tier because there is legit no difference between the coaches uh mike malone i feel like you got to throw probably in beats here once again just going to be a little bit worse eric spolstra and a little bit worse dennis rodman next coach is going to be mike boonholzer once again it's just kind of that step below a Jason Kidd, a Greg Popovich, because they're the same, right? They're both balanced. All three of these guys are going to be balanced, and they're all plus three compared to Jason Kidd and Greg Popovich, who are that plus four. But uh, Monty Williams, 1,000% going to be in the S tier category. I think for his price tag and how easy it is to get him, I think he's probably the most, you know, complete coach in the game because he's going to give that plus five speed to centers, which is super, super nice. So he's basically, I would say, a worse Don Nelson, but then he also gives a plus five three-pointer, I believe, to the point guards, right? Yeah, he does give a plus five three and a plus five speed to your point guards. Does he also do that for your power forwards? I believe he does, right? Yeah, he gives a plus five three and a plus five speed, which is really, really good to your power forwards and a plus five into your defense, plus five perimeter. So going to make them a better defender, also super fast and a way higher three pointer as well. I would say Steve Nash probably in that C tier category. 
I mean, perimeter centric is nice, but once again, he's going to be that C tier coach. I think Phil Jackson is probably going to be the one actual uh, Amethyst coach that's going to be in B tier. I mean, his um, uh, his system, the triangle, I really don't think is the best. I can't exactly show you guys his boost, but I do know, you know, from somebody's account, shout out to Mini, uh, I do know, like going onto his uh, account and seeing, you know, what the boost does give for the triangle, it's really not that good. So I'd say Phil Jackson is probably going to be in B tier. And then Taylor Jenkins, once again, is just going to be another Jason Kidd and another Greg Popovich. So I kind of want to leave the tier list like this. I might throw Dennis Rodman in S tier just to do my top four coaches and kind of balance out the tier list a little bit more. But yeah, guys, I think this is going to be my best coaches tier list. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said earlier, who are some of your guys' favorite coaches to be running? And let me know which coach are you guys currently using? And let me know what you guys would change about my tier list. But hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.